Before you begin assigning items to your menus, you'll want to organize your menus, menu names, and your modifier lists, or your side lists. The first thing to do is to select Assign Menu Names. You'll need to make sure that you don't have any open tables or any unposted tables when you go to assign your menu names. Assigning menu names, you'll see a default name for each of the 14 menus that are included in the software, as well as the current name. Items that are not in use, the value can be deleted and that menu tab will then be left blank. You can type here the name of the uh, the name that you would like to appear on the menu tab and then that will then be the description of that menu tab in the POS screen. And also you'll be able to use those menu names as you assign your menus uh, or items to your to your menus. When you're finished simply press F3. You'll also want to set up your modifier lists or your side lists. Uh, the software includes ten different side lists as well as the ability to create sub side lists uh, for example if you have a side list for a baked potato you might want to be able to specify what uh, what specific toppings are going to go on the baked potato when you then select an item and select its modifiers uh, if that modifier has been assigned a sub side list you'll be able to, s to specify those options as well you can control the names of your side lists by selecting the assign list names uh, where again you'll be given a list of what the default list names are and you'll be able to specify the names that you would like to be able to use by simply typing in a new value. Press F3 when you're done. In addition to these modifier lists, the software also supports uh, the ability to define special notes for items which can be whatever you would like those uh, special notes to be. Special notes can also be entered from the keyboard at the time that an item is created when you select add special notes. You can also define cooking instructions as well as mixing modifiers for drinks or those types of things. Uh, and finally, you can specify an item custom sides list. The item custom sides list lets you create a list of sides that is specific to just one product on your menu. Uh, and then you do have the option of copying that list from one item to another, uh, but each item has its and maintains its own custom sides list. Let's look at the process for defining these sides lists. When you select a side list or define side list, you'll have the option to pick which list you want to modify. When you select that, you'll again have the option to add an entry or to delete an entry. Uh, you can view the sides that have already been created. You can print a side list uh, printout, or you can assign a side list item order, which lets you specify the order that those items will print uh, on the cook's ticket. Defining a side list is very simple. You simply select a product. You can use the pick list to select the product ID. And we'll select something that doesn't make very much sense to really have as a side, just to demonstrate how the function works. Uh, and then you would specify the text that will appear when that button is displayed. If you want to use a sublist for this item, you would use this function to specify which sublist is going to be selected. The, uh, the process for defining each side list is the same. You simply select the list you want to define and then specify the items.